right now on the 6 o'clock news. The devastating winds and catastrophic flooding as Hurricane Ian makes landfall along Florida's southeastern coast. And good evening, everyone. I'm Lori Stokes. Hurricane Ian arriving as a powerful Category 4 storm this afternoon in Cayo Costa, Florida, near Fort Myers. Take a look at this incredible video. This was a scene as Ian made landfall. 150 mile per hour winds proving to be just too much, even for professional storm chasers who were hit with debris from the powerful storm. And it's just the extreme winds also making for life threatening conditions in nearby Sanibel Island. Timeline video showing just how quickly the storm surge flooded streets. The footage you are seeing happening in about 30 minutes. Nearly two feet of rain is expected in some areas. It was a similar scene in Fort Myers where the storm surge left many cars submerged and neighborhoods under several feet of water. And even before the full force of Ian arrived, the storm created very dangerous conditions in Naples. The strong winds down power lines. Currently, more than 1 million people are without power across Florida. We have a team coverage following mm -hmm. Hurricane Ian tonight. We're going to start with Nick Gregory with the very latest on the storm's track. Nick. And for continuing coverage on Hurricane Ian, keep it right here on Fox 5. You can also download our Fox 5 News app for the latest updates and to stream our newscasts live. An outbreak of gun violence across the city, leaving 12 people shot in less than nine hours. Coming up next, we're gonna hear how New Yorkers are reacting and the message they're sending to city leaders. Plus a shocking moment when a train crashes into a police car with a suspect trapped inside. We'll have the latest on the investigation. And as Aaron Judge remains stuck on 60 home runs, we're going to show you why the Yankees have a reason to celebrate. News on Fox 5 brought to you by Morgan & Morgan. All law firms are not the same. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. Renewed calls to end gun violence following another night of bullets and bloodshed across New York City. A dozen people shot in just a matter of hours and some of those just innocent bystanders. Stephanie Bertini has reaction from New Yorkers who say enough is enough. Nick is up next with the full forecast. Plus, we've got some special guests ahead as I count down the days until retirement. Tomorrow, New Jersey Center Corey Booker is going to join us live along with former New York City Health Commissioner Dr. Dave Choksi. Should be a fantastic week. Hope you'll join us. We'll be right back. Some of the video that's coming back from Florida just devastating. Wow, it really is. I mean, you, uh, particularly what's striking, though, Lori, is that storm surge video, and that's. Thank you. Aaron Judge still chasing that elusive 61st home run. Plus, we're going to tell you how Hurricane Ian could affect the Mets' pursuit of a division title. We'll be right back with an update for you on Hurricane Ian. Stay with us. And Nick, one final check on the weather. All right, we're going to talk about Ian. That's still a game, very dangerous hurricane, producing now heavy rains, uh, moving up into central Florida, still very high winds around the circulation center, 130 mile an hour winds. It will be weakening, but still producing a bit of a storm surge and potentially another one to two feet of rain as it moves northward and weakens to eventually a tropical storm, but produces that heavy rain through north Florida, moving into the southeastern states. But again, it's moving slowly, and this is going to prolong the effects there, which is going to increase again the threat of flash flooding and, of course, some dangerous wind gusts that will still be occurring until the storm really kind of uh, wanes itself down into a little tropical depression here moving up into North Carolina. Eventually, though, that moisture will likely get into our neighborhood. That's going to happen sometime on Saturday. Lori? All right. Thank you, Nick. Well, that'll do it for us. We'll have much more on Hurricane Ian tonight on the 10 o'clock news. For now, thank you so much for joining us. Have a safe night. You bet your life starts right now.